Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and I've been demoing some of the new CSS stuff that Adobe's been working on at Google I.O. for the last couple of days, so I thought I would do a quick screencast to share it with a wider audience. The point of the CSS regions and the CSS exclusions and the work that Adobe's been doing is to bring magazine-level uh, layout and production quality to the web, uh, which I think we can all agree is definitely missing. Um, and the canonical example is really allowing text to flow across multiple columns. Of course, you can put text in columns right now in divs, but you can't have it flow like this sort of dynamically, which means it'll work with different font sizes and uh, with different uh, sizes of uh, devices and screens. So this is a good example of it just sort of automatically working here. Um, that's a single thread of text. You can see the, uh, the order of the thread has been changed here. So it's going from the leftmost column to the rightmost column and then to the center column. Here's an example of multiple threads and alternating columns, multiple threads of text. And again, you can see that I can increase and decrease the font size and the text just does the right thing. Here's an example of content in a shape. Uh, these are polygons that are defined in CSS and uh, the text can be told to, uh, to wrap within that shape. And again, I just, I just have to highlight the text because just to show that it is actually real text, just like you'd expect in the browser. You can also have the text uh, wrap around uh, polygons or regions. And this is an example of an exclusion. Again, it scales up and down just as you'd expect. Uh, it, it can be uh, scripted with JavaScript. So you can see it's being changed dynamically here, scaling the star. We can change it to different shapes here. And the text just wraps properly, just as you'd expect it to. This is an example of shapes being ordered. I can blow it up a little bit here. And uh, this is actual drop caps being done, instead of sort of being faked, as we typically do. And this is a very practical example here of text in a pie chart. Um, this is something that you'd normally see implemented as you know a, a PNG or a JPEG or something. And you can you know combine this stuff with uh, media queries to get the kinds of layouts that you'd expect on uh, different size screens. You know, the advantages of this are, are are obvious, but you know instead of having your text in a PNG, just having it as a uh, as regular HTML text means that it can be indexed. It means that you know, it's more accessible, right, all kinds of advantages. This is another really good example of a CSS uh, media query. So you can see that the text is, just, uh, is avoiding the, uh, the van at the bottom here. We can size it to uh, all these different devices, show you the desktop view here, and it just magically uh, works properly. This is actually probably my favorite example. Um, it's a simple example, not sort of as fancy as you know shapes, hearts, and circles and stuff like that. But it's very practical, and it, it just looks very much like a National Geographic magazine or something. It's just something that, that can't be done right now on the web uh, in a very practical way. Um, this one's really great too. You can see that um, uh, this is a combination of you know scripting and CSS, and you can see that as I slide the car into the picture, the text just flows around it and avoids it. Um, just for the fun of it, I actually added a couple of examples of my own just to um, see you know, what I could do with, um, with jQuery. And you know, this, since this is just regular CSS, you know, I just brought in jQuery and just you know, addressed the, uh, uh, the classes here and just you know, toggle them. And uh, you know, it just magically works. And uh, you can do the same thing with, with exclusions as well. So this is um, you know, not a particularly practical example, but just as to demonstrate that uh, that is just CSS, and, and so it can be you know, scripted, um, just like uh, all other kinds of CSS. So um, I'll have links on my blog to uh, show you where you can get more information on this, and uh, we encourage you to check it out and uh, give us feedback and let us know what you think. Thanks.